New information and new concerns after a limousine crash in New York. 20 people were killed in that crash, and we're learning the vehicle and its driver didn't meet the state safety standards. Investigators say the driver didn't stop at a stop sign, hit a parked car, and went into a ditch. A group of 17 people in the limo, including the driver and two pedestrians, were killed. Lots of people use limos for weddings or birthday parties, so how can you know if the one you rent is safe? Jacob Peklo tells us how you can find out if what you're riding in isn't fit for the road. If you're planning a night out on the town and getting that VIP treatment, you want to get one of these limos. Make sure you have fun when you head out, but also make sure you're vigilant, that you check inside before you head anywhere. If it's one of those vehicles where you think, gosh, I don't know if I'd want to be on it, or uh, if it's one of those deals too good to be true, uh, it probably is. This horrible scene in New York with a modified Hummer is a reminder of what happens if companies aren't up to code like they're required to be. It's why Sergeant Darren Reed and the Iowa DOT are a critical line of defense. From there on out, it would be anytime they are stopped by us roadside, we would we would check up on them and and uh, make sure that they have everything that they need for that vehicle. Earlier this year, Hogan's Limos joined the Metro Marketplace. So we um, acquired Smith's Limousine, which had been in business for well over 40 years. They're working to build trust by maintaining their small fleet. They go under a very strict inspection process to make sure that they meet the federal and state uh, regulations, and then, of course, regular inspections to assure that those standards are continued. One figure to watch if you've got any doubt, though, is this DOT number. If their number is active, uh, inactive, if they're authorized to carry passengers or um, what they're authorized to actually do. So it, it's a good tool to do a little research and homework on a company. The DOT requires any commercial vehicle over 10,000 pounds to get checked annually. This Hummer passed inspection, but if one doesn't, it goes out of commission until it does pass. We really supersede the requirements from the federal and the state Department of Transportation because if something is not working right, the safety of our passengers is of utmost importance. That was Jacob Peklo reporting. If you ever have a complaint about a limo company, you can call the Iowa DOT and give them information about the company, the plate, and a description of the driver.